Hey y'all, good night, good morning, wherever you at, Merry Christmas, I don't know why I'm going to say Merry Christmas, y'all, I'm tired, bear with me, <sighs> okay y'all, welcome, welcome back to the Kingdom Community, we are all brothers and sisters in God's Kingdom, and communities all across the globe, the announcement, always check the description box of every prophetic word that I release, because if I don't say it, 10 times out of 10, there's something in the description box that goes along with that word. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so, it talks about title, as all hell breaks loose. Um, this is definitely a word that is urgent. It's a very right now word. Take it to God. It's where it's not for everybody. So... Take it to God so he can either confirm it or give you a deeper revelation for it. And, sorry y'all, I don't like myself looking like I did. And we're going to get into it. Because I'm not going to lie y'all, your girl's tired and ready to rest. So, I'm going to just read what I got and let him flow. Okay, so, um, before I even get started, hold on. There will be a series of former prophetic words that I have already released um that go along with this one so I'm not like going re, re going over everything that I've already released if that makes sense well that God has already had me release if that makes sense I'm gonna say this one more time before I even attach that video and like the first one two three prophetic words that I released I do understand that it was very, the sound, you, you can't hear a lot. Some, a lot of people say they can hear it, some can't. Please listen to the best of your ability. Just want to put that out there. I'm not saying it no more. Okay. I'm going to read what the Holy Spirit gave me and we can go from there. Okay, so do not be surprised that as these unions come together, all hell is going to break loose. Everyone, especially those under the devil's influence, are not happy about these unions. So, no, do not expect it to be all sunshine and rainbows. If we thought we were fighting before, the fight is totally different now. We could have possibly think God was going to give us new territory without Satan sending out his goons against what God has already done through us, for us, with us, all that. Um, stop talking. As promises manifest, be quiet. Like in front of others, act as if nothing in your life is happening. Unless there's like a specific per person or people he's allowed you to talk to about certain things. Um, Satan has eyes and ears everywhere. So don't be surprised if you have a Judas in your circle praying against you, plotting against you, working against you. Don't be surprised. Um, whatever happens under any circumstances, do not retaliate. We are in a season of judgment. Forgive others as for God gives us and do it quickly and forgive them 70 times 7 times. Even if it, stuff all happened one day, forgive them for every single offense. No matter who it is, baby moms, baby daddies, exes, past friends, families, etc. Um, and it's funny, because while we're on the topic of baby mamas, baby daddies, I was reading this book on Wattpad, and in the book, there was said girl and said guy who had a baby together. They were no longer, they were longer together, and because they were not together, the baby's mother was being very childish and would not let, would not let the, baby, the, the guy see his baby. Then, down the line, him... The father meets another female. And they start dating. And because the father does not want to be with the baby mom, she's being petty and childish. Um, started harassing the girls, showing up at the girl's job. They got into altercations. She even spit on the girl. Like, it's a book, but it can apply in real life. So, go with it. Um, And then he said not to retaliate because in the book, the new girlfriend of the guy fought his baby mom and because of that the man went to jail the baby mom lied on him and they had a, co a, a court case um so he could see his daughter 
Well, the baby mama lied and said that he really hit her when really it was his girlfriend that did. And it almost him not seeing his baby. There are so many things that we don't know and don't see that God does. So under no circumstances do we retaliate in any way. It's spirits using these people, not the people themselves. Pray for the people, give them grace. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him water, for he will heap coals on his head. Um, no God is not going to necessarily deliver us from what is happening, but he will lead you and navigate you through it. Stress, worry, fear, anxiety, etc. are no longer means by which we operate. Um, we no longer operate in those things. They're no longer a part of us. Um, for my new mamas, this was like a stressor, like not a stressor, but like he was really hitting on this, both spiritually and physically. Stress isn't good for the baby. So don't let her stress in and you blood pressure all up. You gotta be on bed rest and stuff like that. Um, for the former independent ladies, you nor your flesh is in charge. You are not alone. That man that is assigned to you as your husband is there to fight with you, even if he may need some guidance. The three chord strand that is God, you, and that man will not be defeated. Christ already won the battle by going, dying on the cross and ri rising up again. So the battle's already won. Um, this is not a carnal battle. This is not something that you can fight with fists and words back and forth. Do not try and fight carnally. That is temporal. That is flesh. Partner up with God and watch how he will part the Red Sea for you just as he did it for our people back in the day. Eyes to see and ears to hear. Everything is spiritual. Nothing is a coincidence. So let's say God, you already told you you're getting stalked by somebody and you go to school and you see them across the street and you go to you go to the grocery store and you see them in the parking lot and then you are at home and you see them following you. That's not a coincidence. Like, oh, maybe they just, no. Don't be delusional. Don't, don't be delusional by choice. Um, nothing is coincidence. Take that word out of your vocabulary. Everything is divinely connected and placed by God. Listen to the Holy Spirit in you. God will never steer you wrong. This is something that he was hitting urgently over and over again. For those of y'all who have spouses that have baby moms and baby daddies, watch what you say, your thoughts, and your actions. For husbands and wives alike, if you pick up on something your spouse doesn't, do not ignore it. You're picking it up for a reason. Use your discernment. Discernment is key. Use your discernment. God is stressing this. Uh, he is stressing this. Whatever revelation you get, whether dream, vision, prophecy, etc., needs to be written down, taken note of, meditate on it so he can give you further instructions. Period. Don't write it off or try to save it for later. Be quick about it because Satan's doing whatever he can to snatch thoughts and take take your prayer life and to take over your meditation. So, um, baby mamas and baby daddies, he is stressing this heavily. If your spouse is a child with someone else, don't be surprised if the other person tries to pull a fast one and do something with your spouse. Plus, fully Jezebel behavior sexually and try to play the victim card. Believe your spouse not the other person. The enemy will do anything he can and use whomever to come against us so he can destroy. You've been warned, so don't fall for it. The enemy will try to do his best to make it seem like it's your spouse when really it's him pulling the strings. God sees all, God knows all, hears all, and etc. Listen to him and don't think you can move without him. Try if you want to, watch how fast he pulls you out of your promises. He was stressing that. Don't try to move without him because you're going to ruin you. You're going to ruin him. And he also said, think you playing if you want to. Don't go somewhere you're not supposed to go or be around people you're not supposed to be around. Listen and follow God and watch him bring glory to you as we glorify him through these walks with him. He never said it would be easy, so stop sucking your teeth and roll your eyes. Pick up your cross just like Christ picked up, just like Christ picked up his.
Also, watch out for fake friends and fake opportunities that are really distractions to keep you from walking in purpose. Don't act out in emotion. None of that. I have further instructions also. But all of those are in the videos I'm link in the description box. So, yeah. I don't know, something that is like heavily stressed, well that he's stressing right now, don't be all lovey-dovey with your spouse that you ain't watching your surroundings and you're not paying no attention. Or if you're in your car, you're in your car, but your music is too loud, so you can't even, you don't even notice, you can't hear the Holy Spirit softly speaking to you. Don't be surprised if you have copycats. People will copy you, gun your nerves, make you act out in motion, and act out, don't do it. We've all been through trying seasons of being refined, but patience, grace, and love for other people. Let's follow in those steps, the things that we've learned. That's all I have right now. Most of the information is going to come from the videos that I linked in the description box. I love y'all. I hope y'all as well stay prayed up out here because them Jezebel spirits, them other spirits, they want war. And like we finna get to knocking Satan's head off his shoulders. So yeah. I love y'all. Love yourself, oh God. And I'm out. Peace.